and then five form B AP micro this is obviously a supply and demand question so assume that bread and butter complementary goods the government begins to subsidize the production of wheat which is an input in the production of bread for each of the following markets, draw a correctly labeled size, supply and demand graph and show the effect of the subsidy on the price and quantity in the short run. So, one is wheat, right? So we'll start off with just our supply and demand. And it is the government is subsidizing wheat. Subsidizing is one of your determinants of supply. So supply would increase, shift to the right. We can see what happens to price. We can see what happens to quantity. Price would go down. Quantity would increase. We could say P1 and P2 here. Don't forget your P's and Q's on the axes. Uh, for bread, for the market for bread, simple enough. Start with supply and demand. Do your P's and Q's. Let's see, um, so the price of wheat went down. The price of wheat goes down. This is an input cost for bread. And if input costs go down, supply for bread would increase, which means the price of bread goes down. Quantity of bread would increase, P1, P2. Uh, now we're looking at butter. They did say butter and bread were complements. What we know is there's a negative relationship between bread and butter being complements with price and demand for butter, right? So what we know is the price of butter goes down. That means more people are going to eat bread. Sorry, price of bread goes down. More people are going to eat bread, therefore they need more butter. So the demand for butter would increase. Price of bread goes down. Demand for butter increases. Complements negative relationship there. Um, all right. I think we still need to show price. P1, P2, P, Q. Quantity, though, increases. There we go. If the demand for bread is price elastic, how will total revenues for the bread producers change as a result of the government subsidy? If the demand for bread is price elastic, well, if you're in, there's a certain graph we use to talk about this. And it looks like this. Total revenue, this is a total revenue curve. Total revenue is going up. It's hitting a maximum, then it's coming back down. This is our demand curve. If we go straight up through the top of our total revenue curve, where it hits your demand is unit elastic. This section, the lower section of the demand curve, is all inelastic. The higher section here is elastic. So we know that demand for bread is elastic. We're in the elastic section. The government subsidy implies that there will be more wheat produced uh, and more bread produced. So there, we're in the elastic section. The price of bread is going down. When the price of bread goes down, total revenues will go up. So in this situation, I think here is what's going on, is that we know when demand is elastic and the price goes down, as we see is happening with bread here, uh, that total revenues have to go up. All right, guys, be safe. Take care.